The ADCAR High Wall Mining System is a great American business success story about entrepreneurship, innovation, and safety. The first design was sketched on a lunch bag, fabricated in a Kentucky machine shop, and started at a coal mine located near Boomer, West Virginia in 1991. Twenty years ago, at the time of inception, the mining industry needed improved safety, lower mining costs, and increased reserve recovery. These have remained the highest priority market needs and have shaped ADCAR throughout the history of our company. Today, we are part of Arch Coal, a top five global coal producer and marketer. ADCAR offers turnkey contract mining services as well as the option to purchase the equipment outright. This means we are the only equipment vendor in the industry to have a real life laboratory. High wall mining is a hybrid of surface and underground mining technologies. The advantages of high wall mining method are safety, a people-free underground mining method, reduced environmental footprint due to less surface disturbance than in surface mining because the reserves are extracted by remote undermining, highest productivity and lowest cost because roof bolts, rock dust, overburden removal and the like are not required. Increased reserve recovery allows mining of reserves that would otherwise have been abandoned. The ADCAR high wall mining system has been deployed successfully in all of the major coal fields of the United States. Coal mining operations in Australia, India, Canada and South Africa have also utilized the ADCAR system. A high wall mining system is set up at the face of the high wall. As the continuous miner and first conveyor car advance into the entry, the loader operator retrieves a conveyor car and positions it over the main conveyor belt. After the preceding car is clear, the new car is lowered into place and the crew pins it to the front car. This cycle is repeated until full depth is reached. After the entry is finished, each car is removed and placed adjacent to the launch vehicle in the pit. After all the cars are removed, the miner and the first car are backed onto the launch vehicle and it is moved over and aligned in preparation to mine the next entry. The process of moving from pit to pit has been continuously improved. Today, the process involves backing the continuous miner and first car onto the launch vehicle after it completes the last entry in a pit. The launch vehicle then raises itself and a set of rubber tired dollies are pushed under the rear of the launch. A routine mine tow truck with a specialty attachment hooks onto the front of the launch and tows it to the next pit. Ancillary equipment is either carried to the next pit by the loader or hauled on regular truck and trailers. The main components of the ADCAR high wall mining system are as follows launch vehicle. The launch vehicle is the centerpiece of the whole operation. The top deck is covered with a structure that complies with the falling object protection standards and it houses the cable reels, airline reel, communication reel, and power center. The lower deck is an area where a car is either added to or removed from the train of conveyor cars. A belly belt runs under the length of the launch vehicle, capturing the coal off the conveyor car, regardless of the car's position along the launch deck. With both the FOPS structure, along with the floor of the top deck, employees in the lower deck have double protection from falling objects. The operator's cab is located on the rear or side of the launch vehicle depending on the model of the launch vehicle. The operator primarily controls the sumping and cutting of the continuous miner. In addition, the operator monitors six to nine screens, which provide information on methane levels, hydraulic pressures, roof and floor coal thicknesses, 
entry heading, motor currents, circuit voltage, roof conditions, and fellow employee activities. The cab is climate controlled and equipped with windows that provide the operator a view of the side activities on three sides. The ADCAR system allows for the selection of a continuous miner that best matches seam conditions and personal preferences. ADCAR has worked closely with the major OEMs and both parties are familiar with the modifications that must be made on a standard continuous miner to adapt it for high wall mining. The core design of the machine as well as the regulatory permissibility essentially remains unchanged. The ADCAR conveyor cars are individual units which form a cascading conveyor system from the back of the continuous miner to the launch vehicle. Cars can be ordered in 30, 40, or 50 foot lengths and each car contains a motor and gearbox to drive its own belt. This means, regardless of the depth of the hole, the conveyance power is uniform, approximately one horsepower per foot. Belts are typically 48 inches wide. A loader, typically a Cat 988H, is used for loading and unloading the conveyor cars on the launch vehicle. A specialized attachment known as a pizza pan that readily connects to the 988 is provided by ADCAR. This specialty attachment provides increased stability to the process of loading and unloading cars. The ADCAR stacker is designed for the rugged treatment it will experience daily in the high wall mining pit. The conveyor belt is typically 54 inches and there is about one third to one half of a shift of capacity under the stacker before it is necessary to start pushing coal away from it. The stacker can be moved in a 180 degree radius behind the launch vehicle. The ADCAR system has to have water to operate. The non-potable water is used to cool the motors on the continuous miner and is then dispersed via sprays on the continuous miner to reduce dust in the working area. Water can be supplied by a water line or an on-site wheel-mounted storage tank which is typically topped off two to three times a day by the Surface Mines Road watering truck. The ADCAR system can be powered by either a generator or line power. We recommend having a backup generator on site regardless of the power source that is in use. Usually ventilation is not necessary in high wall mining because the methane levels are low to non-existent. However, when methane is detected, it is diluted and removed by adding fresh air into the work area. Typically, a 1600 CFM compressor will add air via a 3-inch airline that is on a reel and paid out in a similar fashion as the conveyor car cables. The following features make ADCAR tons better than the competition. ADCAR systems are equipped with an inseam inertial navigation system. The computer screen in the cab provides the operator with real-time values of heading deviation, pillar thickness, minor pitch and roll. In layman's terms, this data enables the operator to keep the miner on the desired path. In addition, an ADCAR system can be fitted with a GPS compatible with your existing GPS. This eliminates the need for survey stakes and facilitates electronic mapping. If desired, a communication system can be included that allows for all the information to be transmitted out of the pit real time and be available anywhere, anytime. The deepest entry mine to date is 1,700 feet. Geology and property configuration also impact entry depth. ADCAR achieves approximately 25% deeper holes than the competing machines. Open conveyor cars result in more throughput. The Jim Bridger project in Wyoming was a six-year project in which the ADCAR system and crews mined 8.9 million tons. The average hold depth for all holds mined was 1,221 feet. Life of project productivity was 20.1 tons 
per employee hour. The average monthly tonnage was 134,192 tons per month and the record month at this operation was 227,073 tons. These impressive results were achieved with zero lost time accidents. The ADCAR system results in more coarse coal and less fines than competing high wall mining systems. The primary reason is the open conveyor system causes less breaking and grinding as compared to the auger box system. Furthermore, the launch vehicle belly belt and stacker belt handles the product more smoothly than chains and vertical augers. Some mining plans include the need to leave a layer of coal on the floor or roof. When this is necessary, a coal thickness sensor is provided on the continuous miner and the resulting coal thickness is displayed on a screen in the operator's cab. The ADCAR design principles can be modified to suit your geologic setting and mine specific conditions. Four different models of the system are offered. Broad bench, narrow bench, steep dip, and any dip. We offer the flexibility to purchase a system outright or hire ADCAR to provide turnkey contract mining services at a predetermined cost per ton. Improved safety, lower mining costs, and increased reserve recovery. These principles were the basis for the conception of ADCAR and they have remained our guiding principles throughout our history and will continue to set the direction for the future. We will realize these principles by continually incorporating pragmatic technologies, innovative mining methods, and our customers' feedback. In closing, two slogans often heard around the ADCAR cyberspace and our operations help remind us of our commitments. Number one, if you see something, say something. And secondly, safety is everyone's job all the time.